Hello, welcome to Deborah's Tutorials. Today I'm going to be doing a quick little tutorial on sublimation of a heart bracelet. Um, I got I got this heart bracelet from a young lady off of Facebook. Her name is Amber and the name of her shop is called Blanks by Amber. Um, I will post the link in my description. Um, First, I want to thank you guys for joining me. And if you guys like what you see, please remember to like and subscribe. So I'm going to be doing this little heart bracelet right here. And first thing that I did was, um, comes with a little heart shape insert. This is the heart shape insert that you would put, um, inside the this part of the bracelet right here so what i did was i got a piece of purple cardstock to make a dark background and what i'm going to do is i'm going to put this down on top of the purple cardboard or the cardstock and then I'm going to take my cell phone and I'm going to take a picture the reason why I'm doing this is because I'm trying to create my template and I'm not going to use my flash because my flash leaves a big glare on it so I'm just going to snap a picture of it So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to upload that picture to my computer. And I've already sent it to my computer, so I got to find where I put it. I think I put it inside of... So I gotta go find it. And I think I put it inside of my Deborah's Creations folder. So hold on one second. Let me go find it. All right. So I uploaded it here. And the program that I use to do my designing is called Vinyl Master. So I've uploaded it here. I'm just going to resize it because I don't need it that big. All right, and then I'm going to vectorize this. I'm vectorizing it so it can remove the background and just keep my heart, which is going to be my template. Um, like I said, I use Vinyl Master. I got this program with my vinyl plotter that I purchased. Um, and I kind of like it. I really like it. I do all of my designing out of uh, Vinyl Master, but I always use photoshop to print in order to print from here and be able to change my color profiles i would have to upload to the vinyl master designer and i don't have that kind of money right now so what i've done is i have vectorized it and removed the purple background to just leave my heart now there are some little specks inside of here so i'm just going to ungroup it and just remove that out by itself all right so now what i'm going to do is vinyl master has a handy little uh tool where i can just go to objects and insert field and i can go and find i have two screens so i'm i can go in and find my picture which is this picture i want to use right here and this is of my grandson and boom, it fills it in for me, right? So I've measured the actual I have actually measured this actual heart that is the insert and the measurements that I got for this heart are going to be one, 
0.080 in width. And for the height, it's going to be 0.850. All right. Not 0 0.0, 0 0.850. There we go. All right. So this is going to actually be my template for my heart. So I'm going to now export this as a PNG file. Save it as Levi. And I'm saving it at I'm actually going to bump my DPI up a little bit to make sure my clarity is great. So now since I've saved it, now I'm going to open my Photoshop. And in Photoshop, I am then going to do my drag and drop, which is I open the file, find it, drag and dropped it into Photoshop. So now since it's in Photoshop, I'm going to print it. It's already to size when I bring it into Photoshop. It's the actual size. So I just want to print it. And I have some scrap pieces of paper that I'm going to use. And I'm going to print this one on my Epson 4700. But I want to make sure my print settings are correct for my printer. So I'm going to hit print settings. I'm doing it on 8.5 by 11 paper. I wanted to actually print portrait and not landscape. I want to preview it first, so I let select print preview is selected. Make sure my color profile, my color settings, management settings are turned off on my printer. So no color adjustment because I'm using the color profiles from Photoshop. I want to mirror the image and my high speed is turned off. So all my printer settings are correct. So now I'm going back to my Photoshop print settings. And I want Photoshop to manage my colors and I want to use the Cosmos Ink color profile. I also want to go click right here to make sure that match print colors is selected. Now that I've done that, I'm going to print. Since I selected print preview, the print preview is going to come up and I'm going to print. Now, I actually already had printed it out, so I really shouldn't have printed that. But since I did, I just have to make another one. Okay. So I printed it out and I cut around it. And this right here is what I'm going to be putting onto my bracelet. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to place it. actually going to place it the bracelet going to going to place this onto the image but first there is a clear piece of film that needs to be removed so I'm going to remove that okay so now I'm going to line it up on top of the image and I left a little room for a bleed so I'm going to now tape it down to the transfer paper And I'm using clear transfer tape that I got from Johnson Plastic. I had went to the clear because I ended up buying a bad batch of the brown tape at one time. And 
it ended up leaving brown stains on the bottom of my tumbler, so I then went to the clear. I do still use some brown tape. I know there is a seller on um, Amazon for the brown tape that I like. And I know that they don't leave, their um, tape does not leave brown marks on the bottom of my tumblers. So I do still use some brown tape. So now what I'm going to do is we're going to go over to my heat press. And we are going to press this at 385 degrees for 60 seconds. And I'm actually going to use just a couple of pieces of regular notebook paper for my blowout paper. I lay the one down on the press. And I laid my heart down. Now I'm using Craft and Betsy's paper, which does not bleed. Um, so you really don't have to use blow out paper. But I still like to protect my stuff, so I'm going to use it anyway. And we are now going to press this for 60 seconds. I think it might need a little bit more pressure. Prepping, I'm going to go ahead and get my trusty heat gloves because it's going to be very hot when I take it out of there. I'm just going to put on one. Two seconds. I have my image and it's, it's kind of hot, so we're just going to remove the tape and voila that is Mr. Little Levi so now what I'm going to do is remove it and I'm going to get my tweezers that I like to use On the bracelet right here where you add it, it has a little piece of adhesive that we're going to stick it to. And of course, that has a little protective coating on it. So I'm just going to remove that as well. Tweezers aren't working. Okay, exacto knife. So I'm just removing that and then I'm going to grab my heart and I'm going to place it inside of there. And voila, we have a bracelet with our grandson's picture on it. And this bracelet, you just slide on and it's adjustable and voila. All right, 
Hope you guys enjoyed my little tutorial. Like I say, if you did, if it's your first time here, please be sure to like and subscribe to my channel. And thanks for watching. Bye-bye.